In the famous words of Albert Einstein as he delivered the Gettysburg Address, Without good infrastructure, you won't be able to make much progress in your hardcore world. I mean, I think that that's what he, it is what he said, right? I'm not like just misremembering. Infrastructure. That is the name of the game for this episode. There are two things I absolutely want to get today, and that's a villager breeder and an iron farm. Now, before we get into that, just to play a little bit of catch up, all the fishing I did off camera, we got two power three bows and then, you know, other junk. Then I also did a little enchanty chanty with the levels that we got from fishing. So we could just roll that clip right now. There we go. I may not have an iron pick, but I have coal. I actually wood. Wood powered diamond. This is going to give me fortune. And uh, I'm breaking. And everything I've ever dreamed of. Let's go. I'm just a psychic. I mean, last time I called the efficiency too. This time I called that. Yes, that is right. We finally have our fortune three pick. So I already went ahead, mined up the diamonds and the coal, which means our next order of business is mining out a spot for the iron farm. Okay, a pause. My initial plan was to dig out this room large enough so that we could put the iron farm right smack dab in the middle and have no iron golems spawning anywhere but in the farm. However, after doing out the math, if we want to keep digging all this out with only stone picks, it'll take me about four more hours of just digging. So instead, we've mined this out large enough to where I think I can fit the iron farm right in the middle. It's a pretty simple one. And then we'll just go ahead and fill up any caves around here with blocks so that nothing can spawn there. Also, I have a fun idea for what I want to do with the iron farm that I've never done and I don't think I've seen anyone do it. Then again, I haven't really looked. Essentially, I want to build a well right about here and have the iron funnel up and shoot out of the well. It's kind of a weird idea, but it sounds fun. So we are 100% going to do that. But if we're going to go ahead and get ourselves an iron farm, that means we need two villagers. And if we're going to get two villagers over here, we might as well build a villager breeder as well. So basically, we just need to sail around, try to find a village close to a coastline, and then kid, I mean, um, if kindly ask two villagers to come travel with us. Now this is gonna take me a minute, so I think it's time for a little movie magic. And just like that, we're at a village. I did say we were gonna look for a village near the coastline and keen-eyed viewers may be able to tell that this is in fact not near a coastline. The coast is somewhere that way in the fog. This little water source is just a dead end, so that doesn't help us. However, if we put a villager in a boat and get them to go all the way over to where those trees are past the uh, apparently a ruined nether portal there's a river that should lead us out over to the ocean and then we can make it back to our house in no universe do i expect this to be easy because villagers are well villagers oh no no bad you're not welcome here no 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 not no not yes well that makes this a little bit more difficult because I, I can't kill them or a raid is gonna start you know what you know what you no no stay right there i'll be right back because this was over here before let me just uh let me just put my water there oh bucket of lava no it's fine you want to try to interrupt me as i'm about to move villagers around make an annoying process even more annoying i don't think so hey buddy hey oh oh you're you're in lava that's that's not a good idea. Oopsie. Ooh. Okay. Um, I, I no longer have water because, well, you know why. It's fine. Everything's going according to plan. Give me my water back. And those guys seem to be kind of wandering away. So I'll let them be. Not really for their sake, but more for mine. Which means it is villager time. I, I didn't really want that to rhyme. Oh, even that rhymed. Our two little villager friends are now nice and safe inside of this cozy little abode we made for them. And also, if we look up at the days played, this is the 100th day and the sun is setting, which means we have survived 100 days in this world. Now, I'm not going to say I didn't expect to make it this far, but with my lack of real hardcore knowledge, it's kind of a miracle we did. And I've been doing a lot of thinking when it comes to these two, because initially, 
I was going to make an iron farm with them and then make the breeder after, but I'd have to go back and get two more villagers. So if I want to be, you know, smart and efficient about it, I would make the breeder first. So I think we're going to make the iron farm. For every project I want to start, I realize how much iron I need, especially if I'm just going to build stuff. And just out of curiosity, what's our iron situation right now? Oh, now, unfortunately, to make said iron farm, we actually need some iron. That's of course not all we need, but that's going to be the hardest material to get. Also, just need a little bit of wool and everything that's in this chest. Now, for this video, I will be following a tutorial by Shulkercraft, which I'll leave a link to in the description, but the items that we still need all require iron, so it is unfortunately time for us to keep mining for more iron. And hopefully, that'll be the last iron I ever have to go mine. There are the final two hoppers we're going to need for this, and that should be everything. Well, everything with the exception of a lava bucket. There we go. So I guess all that's left is to actually build the iron farm. So... A couple observations. First off, there are three beds here, yet we only have two villagers here. Also, I did account for the size of this farm in the room, but forgot to account for the fact that we kind of need to go down at least another four to five blocks so they don't just spawn all on this level. That means we need to make our way back to the village to abduct- not- nope, not abducting. We are not abducting. We are just bringing over another friend. Then we need to somehow safely get all three villagers down into the farm, finish up building the farm, drop the entire floor in the room down by another five blocks, and lastly, try to find a zombie that can pick up items to actually make the farm work. This is such a stupid way oh wait there's a zombie villager there well looks like he's about to drown but this zombie is able to pick up an item so if i could just kind of bring him back over to the area that's safer for him to traverse let's not die here my thought here ow is that we can kind of bring him on land like this uh i did not actually set up the area down below for iron golems to spawn Spawn yet. This might be a bad idea. You know what? Um, we'll figure it out. So you, uh, go in. <laughs> okay. Can be a little bit, a little bit harder. Okay. Let's do, let's do this. Right, 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 right. And then we bring you up here and then we loop you back. And then we, and then we, and then we loop you, we loop you. Can you fall in? In. Beautiful. Um, where'd he go? Well, theoretically, he can't really go many places i hope did he survive uh oh he actually fell in the water walked to exactly where he's supposed to go uh we're not ready for that though i guess on the bright side they won't keep spawning more because that one's not dying just need to make sure that this big boy well first off we don't hit him because if we hit him we're probably dead and we also need to make sure he doesn't hit the zombie because he's definitely going to be trying to do that i am so afraid that i'm going to hit this guy and he's just gonna one shot me that would be the stupidest way for me to die but in my last two worlds that weren't hardcore i only had one death in both of them and it was from iron golems i don't know why every time i go to attack one in a village my brain thinks you only have to pillar up two blocks so i do that and then they kill me. Sir, please mind where you are walking. Now we need to set up the chamber of death. So I think I'm about to do what has killed me in all of my previous worlds. Because I need to get rid of this guy. And uh, th this is really the only way I could see to do it. Yes, I could go grab the lava and then put it on him. And I think that'd be a safe way to do it. But, um... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, it was a joke. It was a joke. Or was it... Wait, maybe it's four blocks that you have to go and I always go three. Maybe that was my problem. I only went the fourth block because I thought I was adding an extra block for safety and I'd have to dig it back down. I might have almost just died. And yes, I could be critting him, but I, I'm not risking anything. 
There we go. Very safe. Then through, oh, oh, through the power of a redstone torch, it should activate the clock. I hear an iron golem burning. This is very good. Our first iron golem being killed by the farm. We do have to monitor it a little bit because they might be able to spawn in this. I'm not sure. And then also I didn't actually go around filling in whatever might be on the other sides of these walls. So there's a chance an iron golem might spawn in the area and just kill the rates of the farm. And before you ask why I didn't just slab the floor instead of digging it down, um, just do me a favor and don't ask. We can just pretend that I really wanted to get a lot of cobble or something like that. Because between you and me, I absolutely should have just used slabs. So far though, iron farm seems to be doing very nice. We look in here. Oh look, we have iron. So, mm, okay. Well, oh, uh, you see, you see iron farm was going very nicely until the iron ended up on the floor. I don't know if this is going to work, but in theory, the iron is falling over the hoppers and that's how it ends up on the ground. So if I just put some glass blocks like that, nothing should be able to spawn there. And theoretically it should stop the ingots from overflowing. Well, not really over. I wish they were overflowing. Not overflowing, just flowing over to the wrong spot. Basically overflowing. And this is really just part one of what I want to do. We have the iron farm, which opens up a lot more doors for us. And allow me to let you guys in on a little secret of sorts. I want to build a villager breeder because, you know, infrastructure and all. And I do have a plan for the building that's going to house said villager breeder. I'm thinking we're going to put it right over there. And, uh, well, it, it takes a lot of wood. That's fine. Deep slate, whatever. Kind of the same materials that we have here, except I kind of want to use something else. A little decorative block called banners. And for those of you who may not be aware, in order to make one banner, it takes six wool. You know, that's, that's fine and all. You know, six wool for one of these. I, what's, what's the big deal, right? Until I then tell you that we need not just one of these, but 152 of them. A little bit of quick math. 152 times the six wool that we need for each banner is 912 wool, a.k.a. 14 stacks and 16 extra. Now it may come as a surprise to some of you, but a guy like me does not have 14 and a quarter stacks of wool right now. In order to get supplies like that, we need a wool farm. And you know, while we're on the topic of our fun facts, a little fun fact about those sheep farms is they need dispensers. Dispensers need string and I need string because I have none. Therefore, we have to stay up during the nighttime and go hunt spiders because I'm definitely not going down to deal with the poisonous cave spider spawner. As you can see, one thing leads to the next, which leads to the next, which leads to the next, which leads to the- Oh! Oh no! Trident! 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 Bad. Bad, 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 bad. We want to try to get this. I don't need it now, but it would be nice to have it. Sir, this is a brand new shield and you are already destroying it. Please stop that. Did I get it? I did not get it. Well, with a couple more fish in our possession, it's time to hunt for spiders. <laughs> Well, throughout the entire night, we got nine strings, so three dispensers, which means three sheep farms. But uh, if they're still here, yeah, we got we got two trident guys right there. Very tempting and very terrifying. So let's carefully. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hit each other. That'd be great. Hello. Uh, yep. Very nice. OK, I'm panicking. I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. No, 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 no. Careful. There, run. Ooh, no, 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 no. Is it really worth risking my life for a trident? Yes. Oh. 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 Trident. Try. Okay. Okay. Jump. Dive. Grab. Swim away. Very quickly. As quickly as possible. Mm, I think we're okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is honestly such a stressful experience whenever I leave this island. We are still going to need observers, which means we're going to need to take a little trip to the nether. Very, very fun and safe place for hardcore minecraft luckily we do have fortunes so it shouldn't be that bad we just grab a little bit and run but then it's just a matter of iron for the most part it's just down to this machine this beautifully hideous contraption and let's see 
Oh, look at that. It's so easy. But I suppose now is as good a time as ever to begin Operation Sheepskin, which is kind of ironic because it's not the skin we're after, it's the wool. But no one says sheep's wool, you say sheepskin. So that, that's what I'm doing. Just following the herd. It, that, that's a, a sheep joke in case you didn't get it. In an attempt to speed things up just a little bit, I did go out and grab two more villagers from the village. And while doing that, we ran into a little menace of sorts. There's a cat. I actually have raw fish for some reason. Come here, little guy. Come here, kitty, kitty. Oh, horse, pig, get out of here. And they scared it away. Why are cats like this? Wow, one whole fish. Okay. Was it that, you had to make it that difficult, huh? Now, I thought that was difficult, but it was nothing compared to trying to get the cat back to the island. Go here. Cat. Nice. Go over to here. Get out. Cat. Cat, can you please get out of the water and teleport to me? As long as it doesn't go in the water like it just did, we should be able to stay in the boat and it went back in the water. Wait a second. Will you give me you give me string if I sleep here? I am in dire need of string, so if you could just hand some over. What was that? What do you just Is it a rabbit foot? I don't need that. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I think Menace is a good name for this guy because that is exactly what he is. So what I would like to do next is build the well for the iron farm that brings us up the iron. But if we're going to spend all that time here building, I would like to have the wool farm set up so we can start accumulating that, which means it is time to go to the nether, a place I absolutely do not want to step foot into, but a place that we unfortunately have to. So I'm really hoping for not a crimson forest and just a good spawn overall. No basalt deltas. Uh, that's lava flowing towards me. No. No. <laughs> okay. A uh, little, little dangerous right there. But we do have quartz right away. That is so good. I will happily be taking all of this. Quartz department, we should be fine. However, I really do need myself a piece of soul sand. Ooh, wow. That, that's a... That's a fun place down there. We are hovering over a massive pool of lava, it would seem. Oh, look. Look, there's soul sand. Wow, it's it's so close. That's crazy. Let's also keep in mind, we are not wearing any gold, so piglins will be a problem for us. <gasps> oh, oh, easy soul sand. Okay. Well, I say easy, but if literally anything hits me while I'm getting it, I just die. What? Just, just give me a few. Just give me, like three maybe uh four and five and then we are getting out of here that should be everything we need in the nether for the moment no you just went into the nether you stupid chicken well you know what the fact that you went in the nether kind of makes you not as much of a chicken we are going to set up these temporary wool farms i guess over here i need to make sure it's still loaded from our base but i don't want it on that island i guess that means it's time to get to work three automatic sheep farms coming right up I don't know why, but while I was building that, my brain just kind of stopped working. I couldn't remember how to make it, so you had a hopper minecart going into a chest. I was just trying to put the chest directly under this, but then I didn't know how to get the minecart on top of the chest. But you don't need to know all that. But basically, I struggled for no reason, and then I remembered you need a hopper under it. And luckily for us, the hoppers are really no issue at this point. So the three of these will very slowly keep generating us wool while we work on other stuff. Because now I want to build the iron well that we've been planning. If I'm being honest, I kind of know what I'm doing, but also not really. So what could go wrong? The well is almost complete. I'm just waiting on some glass to be smelted up so I can replace the cobble tube with glass. It'll look a little bit nicer. But in the meantime, I'm thinking we just enchant a diamond sword and see what kind of luck we can get. If this bad boy can give us looting three, that would be so nice.
or not. But look at this amazing little well that we have now. We're getting very close to completing this. Just a couple more little touches here and there. The biggest missing components now are just filling up all of the water sources so the soul sand makes a bubble elevator, which we need this kelp for. And also, once again, we need string for a dispenser. You know, this little menace right here would drop string if I were to accidentally attack it but i worked too hard to bring this cat here so we, we we can't do that i could steal some of this i believe that we used two string here and then i still haven't finished doing this but i was trying to place string on all of these walls to make them look like that rather than that but we can always replace that later because for right now we need the dispenser i am happy to inform you that the glass is in place now so all we should have to do is remove this trap door and then we just put in some kelp so now this part is absolutely complete there is just one more piece to the puzzle Ooh, uh hmm i need to put a dispenser right there but if I break that block, then this all gets flooded out. Please do not destroy my redstone. Don't. Very nice. Okay, okay. Put in the dispenser there. Put the glass back. And we should be good. So now, once iron comes into here, which it should any second, I hear an iron golem dying. We should see that it instantly gets ejected out. Perfect. I may eventually tidy up this room and maybe we'll even do more stuff with it. But as we can see here, we have plenty of poppies that we could turn into bone meal. And if we just start taking all of this iron back out of this, we could just shove it straight into the hopper line. And then we just sprint our way up to the top. I mean, this is the whole point of this. Look at this. Look, iron. I am realizing that I, I did kind of leave out a couple of blocks there. I love this thing. It's just an infinite stream of gravity defying iron. Now you, you better not lay any eggs in there. I don't want to see any eggs in these chests. Do you hear me? This is not a bird bath. And now that it is finished, I would say that that is a job well done. That means we have checked one of our projects for the day off of our list. Then the second project I really want to start and finish is the villager breeder. But the biggest thing holding us back at this moment in time are these guys. How we doing on wool? Oh, um, have these chunks not been loaded? Oh boy, uh, that's an issue. It's okay. We can make three banners combined with the one that we already have. So we only need 148 more. All right, so here's the deal. I don't really like going AFK for a long time. And not just because I'm afraid I might somehow die while I do that. It's more so because right now, if we look at our days played, it's 123. And all of those days are pretty much playtime. If I go AFK, that number can go up quite fast, but we haven't actually done all that much in some of those days. With that being said, though, I do want to get this villager breeder built up, and the only way I can see that being feasible is if I do go AFK. That means that this little box here is going to be my home for the next couple of hours. So the next time I see you, I hope I'm still alive. After about 12 hours of AFKing in that thing, I'm hoping to see a lot of wool. Oh, <laughs> we should be good. We got 20 stacks plus 33, and all that we needed was 14 and a quarter stacks, so we have everything that we need. I have no idea what the last thing I recorded was, but I just spent about an hour and a half putting all the materials together that we're going to need for this build, and I know I've told you that it's for the villager breeder, but I don't think I actually told you what it's gonna be. Since we have our kind of traditional Japanese pagoda back there, I feel like it's only, you know, in theme of us to do something else that is traditionally Japanese. So if you're thinking about a villager breeder, it's going to be a place where villagers well, breed. And so the closest thing thematically in Japan would be a love hotel, but those aren't exactly traditional. So the next best thing is a ryokan. Not really, but shh, we're just gonna roll with it. With that, I think it's just time to start building. See ya in a few hours.
It is finally complete. Well, kind of. The outside is. The inside, not so much. I did go ahead and put in a floor. And as you might be able to hear, there are villagers below us. I thought about putting them on this level, but then they would border this wall and villagers and trapdoors do not cooperate very well. Plus, this just lets me actually do stuff in here if I want to. Essentially, what's going on is this dude's obviously a farmer, as you could tell by the hat. He picks up crops that are ready sometimes. Then they share the carrots. Eventually, they'll breed and the little baby tries to make a run towards the beds. Instead, they fall down the hole. But the little dude is down there with his head right below the water and when he grows up he should get sucked up into the water then we have another holding cell with more water that pushes them into the corner of the room and then i have a convoluted rail system that should get them up to the first floor i swear this guy is the laziest farmer i've ever seen like if you're not gonna harvest this i will i need the food yeah some for me and then some for you. We do kind of have a food problem right now, so I'm going to have to get that- Oh, wait, they're breeding again already? Oh, there he is. He's just as ugly as his parents. And he should fall right down. What an intelligent child. But yeah, this is so stupid looking. Essentially, the villagers are right in this corner behind these blocks. So if I eject a minecart here, they get picked up in this spot. And then they- th This works. They come up here, but it pushes them there. But then that's on a slant, so it pushes them here, and then we do the same thing there, and it works them up to this point. And look at this. This this is great. I have button. You press. You wait a couple seconds, and once they're grown up, they'll get scooped up and brought to you. Then when you're done with them, you break it, you throw it right there, it goes back down into the dispenser. I know. I know you guys don't have to say it. I am a redstone genius. Now, the only bad thing about using all those banners that look really good in the Japanese style is, uh... They kind of unload from a distance, so all the banners and all the signs just don't show up from here. And now on one hand, that's kind of a good thing because it means less lag, but I spent a lot of time getting those banners, so I would kind of like to see them. Oh, also, I don't claim to be the best at math, but I did take my fair share of courses like multivariable calculus, linear algebra, differential equations, so on and so forth. But even with all that math under my belt, I still am somehow unable to add up the number of cocoa beans it would take to dye all of the banners. I had about two stacks and I thought that that was enough, but no, 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 it, it was not even close. When it comes to Minecraft, math just doesn't seem to work for me. But what does seem to be working for me is our iron farm. There is so much of it. And just as expected, the chickens seem to enjoy it as well. But look at all this. Oh more iron. That should keep me set for quite a while. Unless of course I suddenly decide I want a bunch of iron beacons and then maybe I'll run out. For the time being though, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new here, you know, feel free. Subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later if you decide you want to. And I'm sure the like button would appreciate it if you clicked it too or it might feel a little left out. With that being said though, I will see you guys next time.